Dan untuk itu, kerajaan memutuskan untuk melaksanakan Perintah Kawalan Pergerakan mulai 18 Mac 2020 iaitu lusa hingga 31 Mac 2020 di seluruh negara. Hi, am I supposed to go to the work tomorrow or no? I don't even know what am I supposed to do. I'm not going to work or not. Okay, let me just text Miss Yoga and see. everyone for attending today's session. Let me introduce myself. I'm Noa Shira and I'm the HR Executive Representation and I will be hosting for today's discussion. In today's meeting, I'm inviting Ms. Natalie, one of the HR Director, to be with us. Uh, in today's meeting, I'm uh, as far as we are concerned with the current condition of our country, which already badly hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, I am apologized to announce that we are unable to continue our business and project for a while as we have to obey to the government's instruction on the movement control order. Just two days ago, we have made and we have a decision made by the organization management. So we called this meeting to explain um, to the affected staff. So I call upon uh, our HR director, Ms. Natalie, to explain further on the decision that has been made by the management. Please welcome. Thank you, Shira. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, good morning and thank you, everyone, for being present today. As we all are aware, the pandemic has affected our business very badly and many of our projects had to be cancelled and postponed until further notice. So basically, we cannot predict what's going to happen in the future uh, until further notice. Um, and we are at a very uncertain situation right now. Due to this, we have made a very painful decision as we have to come up with a retrenchment and layoff plan to our employees for financial reasons and uh, also to mitigate our financial shortfall. But first, let me explain on what is retrenchment and what's layoff. Yeah? Retrenchment means uh, involuntary separation and is the process of dismissing employees and it is also permanent in nature. This is declared in Section 2 of Industrial Dispute Act 1947. And according to Section 124 in the Employment Notification Retrenchment Plan or as well known as Borang PK, it is said that we should apply a last in first out, meaning the shortest duration employee will have to be retrenched first. So on another note, uh, layoff refers to provisional termination, which uh, it is temporary in nature. We will call back the employee after things are better and when we are financially able. So that is all from me. Now the negotiation process will start and we will meet with Ms. Dachana. You may leave the call and we will talk to you afterwards. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Natalie. Thank you, Ms. Shira. Um, so I've emailed you some documents prior to this meeting. Um, I'm showing the documents to you again. So the first document is the company's financial um, report. This is the uh, predicted um, income or revenue that we have predicted for the first quarter of 2020. Okay, the second report that I've also given you is the feedback that I've got, uh, we have got from our clients and also our stakeholders. And the third report um, that we have is uh, the report on socioeconomic status of our staff. So therefore it is sad to inform you that for the first quarter of 2020, um, our predicted gross profit margin is only at 75%. Um, which is about USD 1,351,503. Uh, and our operating uh, profit margin is only at 20%. Uh, therefore, our net profit is only about 16%. Due to the imposed MCO till 31st of March, a few of our projects on plate will be affected, which means that we will be losing about, there will be a delay in payment about close to 500,000. We have 
spoke to our clients and they also have predicted delays um, uh, in payments from their side. Since our job requires staff to be on site, the company also needs to absorb other miscellaneous operating costs, um, especially when the sector reopens, such as sanitization. We need to provide um, the temperature check machines, um, facial masks, gloves, all of this will incur costs to the organization. Therefore, due to all these circumstances, we are really left with no choice or very little choice, which um, the senior management decided that um, some staff of the management position needs to be laid off, especially staff which are in the division of sales, marketing, project management. We estimate about 30 staff will be laid off uh, because of this decision. For the case of Ms. Dachna, yeah, um, she is the head of project management team. She is a 10 years experienced staff and we are paying close to about 8,000 to her monthly. Due to the pending projects and no additional projects that will be taken from the period of March to May 2020, the management feels that this is a huge amount that we need to fork out um, to pay Ms. Dachena, especially in the midst of loss. Therefore, what we plan to do is we plan to reassign her backlog projects to the more junior staff. And as such, the management has decided that we have no choice but to lay off Ms. Dachina, effective from 1st April 2020. What we hope from the what we hope from the management side is HR will be able to convey this difficult decision to Ms. Dachina. And we really hope that we can negotiate for uh, terms for both parties. Yeah, so that's all from me, Ms. Tertali, Ms. Shira. Thank you for your time. Okay, uh, thank, thanks, Ms. Yoga. We are, so since we have heard from you, and now I think we will have to call uh, Dashana back to the meeting and hear her concerns from her side. And we will call you back later for the mutual negotiations. Thanks again, Ms. Yoga. Now we are uh, here from you. Please share your thought and concern regarding these issues. We are giving chances for you to speak up and raise your concern. Okay. okay, I'm actually not happy with this situation because I have been working here quite many years. You all already know about it. How can you all do this to me? Yes, I do understand that the company is going on a very bad time, but can you please help me because I have a lot of commitments. I have loans like a car, house, and for me to study loans for me to for me to pay back. If this thing happen, how am I supposed to pay back all this? Some both my parents are old and not working, and I have to bear all their costs all by myself. If this sudden situation happen, how am I supposed to survive? Please tell me. I really stress with this situation. I'm really hoping that you could help me or uh, help me on this by not laying me off. Okay. Okay, thank you, Dachana, uh, for sharing us your feelings and concerns. Actually, we want you to know that we are trying our level best to help you and to find mutual understanding, okay? So now I think we will have to discuss uh, this among uh, HR team uh, for the final negotiation, and we will call you after lunch today to update on the final uh, decision. Thanks, uh, thanks, Ashira, for helping me. Thank you. Okay, welcome back to the meeting. We have already heard from both sides, which are from Ms. Yoga and And I think we have finally come to a final decision. But before we start on our negotiation process, I would like to re remind all of you to remain calm and open. And it is reminded that our negotiations are to be kept confidential as we are sharing sensitive business information. These are the terms and conditions for the negotiation. Number one, it should be confidential. Number two, it should be only uh, be used for a stated purpose. Number three, should not be shown to anyone else. And lastly, we should be returned or destroyed if the deal is not proceed. So I hope this is clear to everyone present today. Eh? Dachana, we are very sorry uh, that we have uh, to come to a decision to lay you off for a certain period of time. And we will email you on the notice and letter exactly, exactly. for, the, for you to on. sign. Hold on, yes. don't understand my situation. I've spoke all my concern and you don't understand my situation is it. 
I'm really not happy with the decision that made by the management because I've been engaged with a lot of commitments. Who am I supposed to speak so can I can solve this kind of situation? Dachana, I, we understand that you are upset. We really understand how you feel right now, okay? But we have no choice but to come up with such decision due to our financial shortcoming. But um, Miss Yoga, do you have anything to add here so that we can all find a common ground? Ms. Chana, we are very sorry about the situation that, you know, we had to explain to you. But please remain calm and, 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 and please also know that we are gathered here to find for the best and mutual solution that we can offer. The organization too didn't expect for such circumstances. But I have heard, we have heard from HR, we, we have heard your concerns. So what I, what at least I can try to do is that um, maybe Ms. Shira and Ms. Natalie, I suggest that we try and engage a private lawyer, um, try to get their advice, and then um, let's meet them separately. And then once we get um, some advice from them, I'll try my level best to bring this to the management level and give me about one to two days and then i will try i'll try my best to bring some mutual decisions and then um we can revisit the matter that's all i can say for now okay i think thank you uh, miss yoga for for your uh, remarks there i think and thank you also dachana and as miss yoga mentioned uh, please allow us to discuss this further and to revisit this matter again and we will call all of you for our final meeting and negotiation in one to two days time. But till then, please take care and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you for joining in our final negotiation. Welcome all again in our discussion. Hi, Mr. Chana. We have consulted an independent lawyer firm for advice and brought this matter to management again for the discussion. After a series of discussion, we have agreed to retain your employment. However, we will have to go for a pay cut for a certain period. Are you agreeable to this? If yes, then I can explain further on the terms and condition. Okay, just go on, Mishira. I would like to hear from you first. Okay, there are several terms and conditions actually. Okay, firstly, uh, starting uh, from March to August in 2020, which is for the next six months, you will be receiving a 20% reduction from your net salary, which is about 6,400. However, with your EPF and so so deduction, it should amount to a total net of 6,050 ringgit and 35 cent. So, and you also should not disclose or discuss this salary matter with other staff, uh, as this is a special consideration uh, based on your finance situation, financial situation, and you will be required uh, to sign a consent, uh, consent form to agree for this reduction. And the organization also expect uh, the same amount of quality and also production uh, in the conducting your job during this pay cut. The organization also will offer you uh, other benefits like reduced working hours, online trainings, and also other health and well-being benefits. Uh, okay, then how about my medical claims, subsidized internet packages for booking from home? Oh, yes, uh, regarding the medical claim, we do provide uh, amounted to 1,000 yearly is still effective. Unfortunately, we cannot offer subsidized internet package for the staff at the moment, but we will be providing you other benefits like training on how to use the various software like Zooms and also project management tools and live report to ease your work. And we also provide three to five sessions of counselling per staff with the licenses uh, counsellor. Is it clear for you? Okay, I'm clear now and I, I agree to the terms and conditions without choice. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dachana, uh, but please note that your KWSP and so, so deduction also will be adjusted accordingly and you can check this uh, in your payroll system and HR will manage the discussion and send a copy to you 
and keep a record in the file. Uh, and HR also will notify you when uh, when come is in August uh, 2020, where we will revisit and also send you an official email to reinstate your salary once we get uh, uh, the organization approval. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate for trying to help me out by understanding my situations. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay. Okay, uh, Mr. Shana, I hope uh, you are feeling better now. Thank you, Shira, for assisting me and also thank you, Miss Yoga, uh, for your cooperation and collaboration. I'm so glad that we all, all have come to an agreement. Uh, so now please stay safe and let's uh, hope things will be better soon. Yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone. The meeting uh, now.